Hi friends, Carla here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be setting up my April budget. So I do use the plum paper planner, but I am transitioning into a different planner as I've mentioned before. And if you're wondering where I got these stickers, I got them from my shop. It's just by CarlaMeThat.com. We do have five paychecks this month because there's five weeks and we get paid every week. I will take out the stickers I need. I did pre cut these so I have the ones I know I will use down here and that's just what I use this for is for storage I have other stickers here but it's not related to our video for today and I will be flipping pages here back and forth I just want to let you guys know and you will see my head pop up over here because I am blind and I cannot see my notebook without completely like shoving my whole face on my paper sometimes i do try not to do that but for the most part you might see my head over here i'm gonna go ahead and start by laying down my washi i i think i'm gonna use this one i don't even know if i'll have enough washi for these i try to only use two and i'm lazy i don't white out everything hopefully i remember everything that i said that i would change when it came to my march closeout when it comes to my april budget because you kind of learn as you go with whatever works with your budget every month with your family or within yourself and whatever can help you reach those goals that you need. I have this sticker right here. And then I'm going to lay down the income, the date, the budget, and the action. I will not put these teal ones anymore just because I I don't feel confident about doing those anymore. So maybe in the future I will again because I do like it. But for right now, when it comes to like budgeting, I would just want to see how much we've been putting down on everything. And then when I line the pages, I'm not going to do that in front of the camera because that will just take us forever. <laughs> so April budget. I do have five paychecks like I said and they're not going to be as much as I was going to think about because I'm just going to under budget by a lot and I'm going to leave a space here just in case like anything happens. I usually like to do that and just be prepared if there is like ex extra income because I do have my own shop as well as this YouTube income. I do get some. So I like to leave that for myself and just add that all together. But I don't budget anything for it. Like I don't put a budgeted amount because I don't want to rely on my side incomes to help us out with our whole family budget. I feel like that's just gonna mess me up. I'm going to use this tiny washi down here to kind of break the page down. And I think this is going to work because I'll have more I'll have more space. That's what I'm thinking. And then I will lay these down as well. So I pick like really pastel and eastery colors for April just so I can have a lot of colors. I love colors. As you guys notice, I love colors. I love pastels. Those are my colors. Now I do have a cheat sheet just to kind of let you guys know if I'm referencing back and forth. Let's begin to fill this top one first. So for dates, I did predate this. So we have on the first, we do get paid first of April. And then the 8th of April as well. And then the 15th. And then the 22nd. And then the 29th. And then my budgeted amounts for each paycheck is $500. And that's my paycheck and my husband's paycheck together because we both get paid at the same time. And I still do work at CBS. That's still something I do. I work there once, once a week. It's not going to be that much. And I'm just trying to help them out until they find someone to replace me. My total for that is 2500 
and I'll just line that out later on like I said and then for our fixed expenses over here I am gonna put that right here and I have phone basically the same ones that I've always had and then insurance gas subscriptions which is our Hulu and our Netflix and we have internet and we have rent so these are the fixed expenses that are basically the same every month except for like some occasions like debt sometimes like sometimes the minimum payment goes down or like internet it goes up it just depends but most of the time they're the same for debt i am putting 246 and phone is going to be our regular 163 insurance is 103 gas is going to be 150 because it has been increasing a lot so i'm going to give that extra $30 to see how that goes subscription is gonna get $28 internet is 97 and rent is $200 and then we'll just put that bottom sticker right here and you don't have to necessarily have stickers to be able to divide your fix and, and actual I've used highlighter for quite a a while there before I started using my own stickers to do budget so feel free to just use paper highlighter and pen that's definitely something you could do and see if you even like this system before even like using money to do it so that's just a little suggestion just in case so for food for our variable I'm gonna put 650 yeah, 650 because it's usually my my weekly food budget is 125 since there's five weeks in april i just multiply that by five i did change it to 130 times five yeah so i did change it to 130 weekly i just gave that extra five dollars boost every week just to help us out because lately we have been using our money to buy mia some formula because we're trying to wean her out of it but we are in the WIC program but they it's not it hasn't been enough for her because they do lessen the amount of formula that they give you so that's gonna be for food and then our allowance because there's five weeks I also have to do five weeks worth of allowance so that's 375 then our usual $300 and then sinking funds That'll get $350. And then challenge, which is any savings challenge that I'm participating in, which is basically my 100 envelope challenge. I don't budget anything for it. Some months we might not be able to contribute anything to our savings challenge when we really can't. So that's just something I have also taken into account as well as unbudget. I don't put anything for that. And I just basically do the bottom part right here. I went ahead and lined everything up. And I usually grab my date dots, but this one is an oopsie. So I'm going to grab the date dots from this one, which I'll use later on. So I am going to... Hmm, I think I'm going to use this three right here. And this is where I just like to put the income... The debt, entire debt payment of the month and entire savings of the month. I like to put that down there. And I do also like to color coordinate things. So here I'm going to put income. Savings and debt. So for income, I just like to use a neon yellow highlighter. 
and it just pops out and I love it so we're gonna keep it that way you guys already know how I budget if you've been watching me for a while but if this is your first time watching me if you can leave a question down below I'm sure I can try to get back at you and then some people try to answer other people in the comments which I really appreciate because you guys are helping each other out so my red one is usually the dead one or pink one and then my green is my and then green is my savings. And then I just like to end the page by putting like a washi at the end. Just to kind of make it look finished. There's just all sorts of noises going back over here, but we're not gonna worry about it. So this is the entirety of my april budget and how everything would look like and this just gives me an idea of what paychecks i'll have on what day and all of my bills and stuff that we need to cover for the month so that is it for this video guys thank you so so much for watching and i really really appreciate every single one of you and i appreciate your time so so much but please give this video a thumbs up if you like budgeting videos and subscribe down below if you're new and i will see you on my next video bye